Hello again, people. Welcome back to HemingwayLand.com, your source for quality, affordable land in the states of New Mexico and Hawaii. This is our preview, our weekly preview of all the properties going live on the website for tomorrow, Friday, June 12th, 2020. Another crazy busy week here at the North American offices of Hemingway Land. Uh, another bunch of sales that we have this past week. This is becoming the new normal. Uh, I'm not complaining. Nonetheless, I want to thank all the people who kept us busy this past week. We listed five lots last Friday, four in Taos County, one in Socorro County. Uh, four of them sold within 24 hours. Uh, so that's a good that's a good weekend for us. So we appreciate that. Anyway, uh, a list of buyers this week includes Candace, Caitlin, returning customers Laura and Nick, all of whom bought land from us in Socorro County. Uh, Malie, Malay, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but a delightful woman out of Texas who bought some land from us in Rio Rancho, our rapidly dwindling inventory of Rio Rancho properties. I swear to God, guys, I'm working on it. I'm working on restocking, I promise. And uh, in Taos County, our list of buyers includes Jose, uh, Bernie, Diana, thousand-time caller, first-time buyer Diana, uh, as well as returning customers Bill and Tammy, who bought not one but two properties from us in Taos County. And also want to thank Karina. I completely forgot to mention Karina last week, but she bought that two-acre property from us in Rio Rancho two weeks ago. Uh, she bought it like 37 seconds after we listed it, so in my records it showed up as a Thursday purchase instead of a Friday purchase, which is why I forgot to mention her last week. But nonetheless, thank you to all those people. We appreciate everybody uh, who puts their trust in us, particularly when people call me and say, how do I know this isn't a scam? <laughs> yes, I still get those phone calls. So... Thank you to those people who don't call and ask me that and just buy the properties. Anyway, that's number one. Number two, uh, I recently realized that our Gmail account that's connected to YouTube actually shows me who all the new subscribers are every week, which gives you an idea of how little I check that. Uh, nonetheless, at this point, we're, we're rapidly gaining new people every week, so it would be a little tedious to list all of them, but I do want to thank all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Hope you guys find something that you're looking for. So uh, this week we have two new properties debuting on the website. Two is a lot less than I'd like to be debuting in an average week. But uh, in Hawaii, we've got like five properties that are out of escrow. And our photographer down there has recently uh, moved. He has moved from Hawaii to Nebraska. Let me say that again. He's chosen to move from Hawaii to Nebraska. In the history of Hawaii and Nebraska, that's got to be the first time that that's happened. Nothing against beautiful, lovely Nebraska. I'm just saying, you know. But he uh, is doing it for love or something. I don't know. His girlfriend's from Nebraska. So point being, I need to find a new Hawaii photographer. And uh, that's why we are delayed on rolling out new properties out there. Yada, yada, yada. Until such a time, however, we have two new properties this week in Rio Arriba County here in New Mexico. Um, so both these properties are in a region that last time we listed out here was two years ago. And uh, nary a month goes by that I don't get an email, a call, or some kind of comment on YouTube about when will you have new property in this area. Hey, you should get some new property in this area. So finally, we have some new property in the area known as the Black Mesa. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Black Mesa, it is a mesa, table-like thing. Mesa means table, flat land area. This is about 1,000 feet above the rest of the Española Valley. And so it provides, quote, stunning views, as we have noted here. Number one, number two, of course, because it's Rio Reba County, they're RV friendly. You can uh, park an RV out there for three months without a permit. Uh, you can camp for lengthy periods of time, etc. But more to the point, this mesa has some historical significance uh, in that artifacts, petroglyphs have been found up there. There's a society that preserves this region uh, because of these petroglyphs. And so it's a really pretty area. Uh, it's a really private area. There's not a lot of people living up there. Uh, excellent for camping. And uh, excellent because you just kind of stumble upon these things, these petroglyphs that are up there. So blah, blah, blah. Uh, two properties. One of them is just a scooch under a half an acre, so modestly priced at seven fifty. And then we've got a four and a half acre lot for thirty five hundred. This is a bigger one. It's got um, it's got easements along two sides, western and southern ends of the property, something like that, uh, et cetera. I, of course, will have videos up on both these listing pages. One video on both pages. The properties are not adjacent, but anything I say in one video will certainly pertain to both. For the record, just to give you a sense, um, oh, quick thing. So there's a gate at the bottom of the mesa, at the base of the mesa, that uh, blocks entrance to this. It is controlled by this charitable organization I was talking about earlier that uh, preserves the the mesa itself. Uh, we, however, have the gate code, hence the gate opens when you go there. So anybody who buys property from us will, of course, be supplied with that. Um, whatever the case, just to give you guys a sense of what it is like up here, let me go to the 
So these are some of the views that you get from the region. Of course, we're going to have the drone video uh, at the bottom of the listing page. We'll be able to view that. It'll give a sense of exactly how picturesque this is, the kind of st stunning scenery that you have around you of northern New Mexico mountains and such. Uh, but really beautiful up here, really, um, really gorgeous. Anyway, and of course, it's a great area to RV to camp. Or if you do actually want to build out there, there's some logistical hurdles with that, uh, which we discussed in the video. But if that is something that you want to do, um, it's easy to get a mobile home up there, easy to get an RV up there, a trailer, so on and so forth, etc. So those are the two new properties going live this week. I will have you guys know if you're interested in these, uh, these tend to sell like really fast. Okay, so just an FYI. Uh, additionally, this week, we are also taking a five-acre property. That has been on the website for longer than I care to admit in Luna County. We are subdividing it into five one-acre lots. So now you can purchase the five-acre for $4,600 or uh, you can purchase each of the one-acre properties for nine fifty each, which is a really good price on one acre in Luna County. Even in Luna County, that's a really good price for land. Uh, a lot of uh, affordable, cheap land in Luna County and nine fifty for one acre still beats everything that I'm aware of. So... Anyway, I will, of course, have a video up on this list, listing page where we will go into greater detail on all of this. Uh, buy all of them, buy one. We're selling them uh, individually. We're selling them all together, etc. cetera. Uh, it's been on the website for over a year, I think, but uh, this is the first time that I've actually, uh, you know, gotten the energy to do a video for it. So that'll be up on the website tonight. Anywho, these properties, by the way, are located out here between Cancion and San Pedro Road. They're in the um, eastern part of the subdivision. Uh, just east of the Florida mountains, just east of uh, Rockhound State Park over here. Closer really to the Aquila entrance to the uh, to the I-10 than they are to Deming, but of course only a short drive into nearby Deming, only a short drive into nearby Las Cruces over here. And of course, uh, can't forget to mention that you are in a part of the state where you are not too far from Elephant Butte Lake, as well as White Sands National Park up here. So... Um, a lot to like about this region. Very private property. Power roughly about three-tenths of a mile from the lot. So it's not at the lot line. It's not like a lot of the properties that we feature out there, but relatively close. Anyway, with all that said, guys, thanks for watching. I promise we will have more new properties coming in the weeks ahead. The Hawaii um, problem notwithstanding, we've got a lot of property coming in New Mexico soon. So hopefully we'll be rolling them out three, four, five at a time instead of these weeks of one and two properties. I apologize, but we're working on it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.